It takes an aerial view to understand the full extent of what happened here. After a fuel tank collapsed in late May, 150,000 barrels of diesel, some 20,000 tons of fuel, gushed into the waters below. Environmentally minded politicians who've toured the aftermath say the damage is unprecedented. I'd call it not so much an accident as an ecological tragedy, and from above it makes an impression to fly kilometers and kilometers over a river and see its water has changed color completely. Responsibility lies with Norilsk Nickel, owner of the power plant where the spill occurred and one of the world's largest metals in mining operations. The company says it will pay for the cleanup, but blame the spill on climate change. In recent years, warming temperatures in the Arctic, rising at twice the rate of the rest of the planet, have melted the frozen ground on which Norilsk Nickel and its namesake city rest. That's put Norilsk, a city celebrated as a feat of Soviet engineering and grim prison labor, on the front line of climate change. To explore the city is to see the earth literally pushing back against buildings constructed on stilts. But with much of Russia's key oil and gas infrastructure in the north, some fear the spill in Norilsk is less a one-off environmental tragedy. Instead, they say, it's a harbinger of things to come. Melting permafrost is already a consequence of climate change that demands we adapt now. It's not something we can pretend caught everyone by surprise. Back in Moscow, President Vladimir Putin has expressed anger at what he says were delays in the regional government's response to the cleanup. Why did the government agency only find out about this two days after the fact? Are we going to learn about the emergency situation from social media? A criminal investigation is underway, with top management at the power plant under arrest and the mayor of Norilsk facing charges of negligence. According to expert analysis, the oil container was not up to code for industrial safety standards. But environmentalists say flaws in the cleanup effort also lie with the Kremlin's top-down system of governance, where no one wants to be the bearer of bad news. The local leadership is scared to pass information up the chain of command. They don't think about the consequences of their actions at the moment of the accident. They think about their careers. For now, the primary focus is on the cleanup and preventing the spill from spreading to a key river and further into the Arctic Ocean. It may be years before the harmful effects to fish and wildlife are known. Their plight will inform lingering questions over the risks of extractive industries in the rapidly changing Arctic. Charles Mainz for VOA News, Moscow.